stories can be entertaining and educational at the same time. It is for this reason that many of us have realized that using stories will connect with the people we want to connect with. Storytelling has been around for centuries and it's been adopted in many areas of our life. I've spoken about storytelling before on Empowered Mums TV. Welcome, I'm your guest expert, Trish Springsteen. And I thought tonight I will share with you a little bit more about storytelling. I'm gonna look at why storytelling is valued in business. There's some of the many reasons why I've talked about when I've talked about storytelling and presenting and storytelling and speaking. But some of those reasons do roll over into your business, but I thought we'd hone in. And I'm gonna talk about some specific ways that storytelling is used in specific areas in your business. In business, they create memories for everybody. We use these stories and we craft new ones to connect with customers and to show why people should be going and sharing our business and working with ourselves. Now in business, we are using communication to connect with customers, to connect with the community we operate in, to connect with our employees, our shareholders. And we can use stories just as much as formal communication, just as much as informing and inspiring and instructing, we can use stories in the business arena, in our business communication. Because the ultimate goal is to be able to share the business with our stakeholders and to make profits. And to do that, we need to connect with them. And as I just mentioned, Storytelling is one of the best ways to connect. So let's have a look at the following, the following areas of business and how storytelling impacts on each of those areas. So the first one is presentations. Okay, I've talked a lot about presentations over the weeks that I've been sharing my expertise with you. So just to recap a little bit, in the business world, you do a lot of presentations. Now, it could be presenting to boards, uh, it could be presenting to your teams, it could be presenting to your clients. You do a lot of presentations. It could be presenting to the community or presenting to the media. So you do formal presentations. And in each of those, storytelling has an immense impact. I've talked about how it's common, how we, we're almost wired. Our brains are almost hardwired for stories because of the way that we have used those stories over and over through the years. It makes it easier for people to understand when we use the stories. We are almost, as I said, hardwired to connect. When we hear a story, a little switch in our brain goes on and we think, oh, and we can relate to the story. It is easy for us to take that story and think, Oh, we can almost put ourselves into that story. So this is really important when we're using our presentations in the business world. Because if we are living or experiencing the story in person, then it makes it easy for our audience, our clients, our team to hook into that and also live it. They can be almost there with us because we're telling a story and they'll hook into that story and they'll be there. So it makes it easier to connect, makes it easier to get instructions across. Uh, when you use a story, when you're giving instructions and that story highlights what happens if you don't do it right, it will stay in people's minds all the time. It helps people to remember the details. And it keeps people focused on what you want. So when you, you're pitching to the board about uh, you know, to get money, to get support, to, to pitch a new idea, a story is going to keep those board members focused on where you want to go. And it's going to hook them into it. Okay? You're pitching, uh, you know, giving instructions or inspiring your team to go to a new place, to use a new product, to change for the methods. Stories are going to keep them focused and it's going to hook them in. 
So storytelling in business presentation helps your, their audiences to understand the message and to really get it into their mind. And that's what you want when you use using your presentations in those different ways in your business. Remember, talking to your teams, uh, talking to your board, talking to your clients, talking to the media, all of those areas, you are wanting to keep them focused and to remember what you're saying to them. So storytelling is extremely important in your presentations. Now that one should be fairly easy because I've talked to you about that uh, in past weeks on, on how to put those stories in and the value of that. So let's have a look at another area in business where storytelling comes in. If what business is seeking, if you as a business is seeking to partnership or do joint ventures with a community or another business, stories will be extremely valuable for you to pitch that joint venture, to get that partnership going. Because you can portray in those stories what you have been doing as a business. And for people, communities of business or other you know, fellow business people who want a joint venture with you, they're quite often going to make that break or you know, yes or no will depend on the potential of your success stories. So you're going to be wanting to share stories of your success. Why else would a community, why else would another business want a joint venture partner with you unless you can share stories of how successful you are or why it should be a success for them to do so and the stories are going to do it. So business seeking to get into a partnership, you've got to be ready to tell compelling stories, especially those that will connect with your potential partner and reflect their beliefs. Because if someone wants to join part venture with you or business or community wants to do partnership, they want to know that you will gel, that there's resonance, that you're resonating with each other, that your values are similar, that the outcomes that you get are going to be worth it. It's going to be a win-win for both of you. So stories about what you do, stories about how successful you've been, stories about case studies that have used the program that you want to get people to joint venture on are going to help you to resonate with that venture. There are also going to be stories that are going to share your mission and values. So that joint venture or possible partner are going to see that, yes, you are resonating, you've got the same visions, you've got the same missions, you, you can add value to each other, and it will be a win-win to have that partnership. So stories are going to do that for you. So think about compelling stories when you're pitching to joint venture, compelling stories about who you are, what you offer, how that's impacted on your clients, what value that's going to be for people who might come and joint venture with you. And then, of course, there's marketing. Absolutely. Quality storytelling to attract new customers or retain or engage your current ones. It's all about sharing the stories. It's going to get your new customers in. It's, it's about communicating a clear message. So good marketing stories are going to do that for you. It means that when you share good marketing stories, your customers are going to understand why they should care about your product or your brand. Again, the stories are going to connect on that emotional level. The stories are going to connect on that narrative level. So when you share good marketing stories about you, your brand, your product, it's going to resonate with people. They're going to remember it. They want to say, I want what she wants. I want what they're doing. I want to work with that person. Because the stories you're pitching, the compelling stories, your good quality stories are going to highlight the reasons why. It becomes a no-brainer. So share those stories, but I'll put a little caveat in that. Quite often you used to get PR places to write up stories for you. It's not gonna work so much nowadays. The stories have to be authentic. They have to be real. They've gotta reflect your brand. They've gotta reflect your message. So think about the compelling stories, the quality stories that reflect all of that. So that when you share those, it hooks in your customers, your potential customers, and it keeps your current customers engaged. So a lot of stories here in the quality stories for marketing, 
good quality stories from your current customers are going to be very useful because they're authentic stories. They're stories that show what you're doing, how you're doing it, and the outcomes that you're achieving. From marketing, we go to publicity, PR. We need to share stories with the media, and the media is all about stories. Yes, there's facts and figures in there, but the media like stories. So this is really important. Find the stories in your business that the media is going to hook on to, okay? Because you're going to share stories and you will share your information and your brand via the stories with the media. So think about your stories there. They're the ones the media are going to get in. So what current stories have you got? What stories can hook in onto current trends? Again, stories that showcase your clients, showcase the outcomes you've got. Stories that will hook into the community. Maybe the, you're doing something in your business that will hook into the community. Maybe you've been doing some hampers around Christmas time. You might be, you've been putting together hampers. You might be doing things to help the community, uh, about families in the community. Share those stories because those stories will hook into the media. The media wants stories. The media is all about stories. So look at the stories that you can share with the media that highlight you, your business, maybe the face behind your business. Again, the face behind the brand, the faces behind the business. Stories about people in your business. Uh, if you've got a team, if you've got a bigger business, you've got people working with you. Stories about what's happening there. Think about the stories that the media can hook into. They're all about stories. So storytelling here is a vital aspect of your business. Now, stories can be useful for raising awareness and training. Remember I talked about your team, about your staff. It doesn't matter if you've got one staff, 50 or 60 staff, or you've got 100, 150. Good stories engage better with the staff. They give a clear view of why you want things done in a particular way, what your vision is, what your mission is. When you can share a story about you and your vision and your mission with the people who are working with you, they will buy into that. Rather than standing up and giving those dry goals, mission statement, vision, let's make it stories. Because the stories, as we know, as I've shared with you, they're going to hook your team in. The stories are going to get them to buy in. And again, if you want to do some training, you want stories in there because stories will highlight why you want things done this way. You can use stories to say, well, look what happens if you don't do it this way. Or disaster stories, the stories that cost money, the stories that cost credibility, the warning stories. Use all of those when you're training and you're raising awareness in where you want people to go with you in your business. Now, the last thing I want to share with you are the stories that you don't actually create. These are the stories that are told about you, told about your business. We're talking word of mouth here. These are absolutely gold stories. These are the stories you can't buy. These are the stories that customers tell about your business. And they're important because it's third party credibility. It's other people saying, wow, I worked with that person and we did this, we did that. And it changed what I was doing. It gave me a different outcome. It took me to a different level. Third party credibility, word of mouth stories. Because when people share the stories of what they did when they were working with you, other people are going to listen to those stories. They're going to say, wow, I want to go work with that same person. Look what you did for this person. They're talking about it. They're sharing the stories. They're sharing about the mentoring or the product or the book that they read. Word of mouth stories are golden stories. They're the ones you want. They're valuable. So be all that you can be. Use all those other stories in your presentations and your partnership ventures, your marketing stories, your publicity stories, your training stories, your awareness stories. All of those are going to ensure that you are giving your customers, your clients, your readers what they want. Because the outcome of that are the 
gold stories, those word of mouth stories, those third of party credibility stories that your clients are talking about. You want raving fans. You want raving clients who go out there and they talk about the stories of each time that they come in connection with you. What happens? How it happens? What was the effect? What was the outcome they had? Because those stories, those stories are what other people listen to and have them coming to you, wanting to create their own stories with you and you creating stories of them. My challenge to you is to think about storytelling and how you can use it in business. It's a valuable tool for business. I wanted to highlight and hone in a little bit more and delve into that because we talk about storytelling and presentations and storytelling and speaking, but I really wanted to focus in and think about all the different ways that you can use story to showcase your business, to be more visible in your business. All those ways that you can bring those stories, speaking, writing, videos, but all of those in those different parts of your business. So there's the challenge. Think about your business. And it doesn't matter whether you are a solopreneur, whether you've got a team under you, two, three, four, whether you're working in a, in a big corporation and you've got massive teams of you. It doesn't matter at whichever level. All these items that I've talked about, presentations, joint venture partnerships, marketing, publicity, training and raising awareness and word of mouth, they are all absolutely positively essential items to any part of your business. So think about it. Sit back, think about, are you telling stories in your business? How better can you be telling your stories in your business? What other stories can you be sharing that you never thought about? And see how you can weave those in to your business in all of those areas. I'm Trish Springsteen. I'm a creative business consultant. I'm a multi-international award-winning mentor. I'm an international best-selling author. My passion is helping you to get known, be seen. My passion is helping you to be visible and make it easy for your clients to find you. Most specifically, I'm here every Monday evening 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time as your guest expert on Empowered Mums TV. If you'd like me to discuss something, drop a comment below, PM me, let me know, and I'll share it on the next Monday night. Until then, make sure you polish your storytelling. Look where it can be in your business and how it can add value to your business. Have an absolutely awesome week. Bye.